Hey everyone, this is Carmen. Welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I covered a copywriting tool called conversion.ai. I essentially went over my thoughts on it, how to use it, and I just upgraded to the pro unlimited version, which allows you to automate long form copy, not just small things like blog post intros and Facebook ads, but you can actually use the pro unlimited version for doing sales letters, sales pages, and long form copy. And that's why in this video, I wanted to specifically show you how to use the long form assistant and also my thoughts on it. All right, so I'm here on the conversion.ai dashboard and you'll notice when you're on the pro unlimited version, you do have this new template called the long form assistant. Let Jarvis help you write long form blog posts, emails, stories, scripts, and even books. That's another crazy thing. You can actually author books using this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And there's two things you can do here. The long form assistant essentially is a little prompt and workflow you can use. I always use this one, but you can start from a blank document and then use all of the different templates conversion gives you to add up into one finished thing. But I'm gonna use the long form assistant here. And the first thing you have to do is describe the content. And as you can see here, it says it's the most important step because it essentially helps train the AI to write the best possible output. So I like to use almost all 600 characters here. Really that's just about five sentences or a paragraph. And you can also put in your SEO keywords down here. And a future piece of content I want to actually publish on my blog is the topic of upsell copywriting. So I'll essentially begin to describe the blog post to Jarvis to help him understand the topic and ultimately what I want. This is a blog post on upsell copywriting. And then I'm also gonna tell it to include data, instructions, and strategy. So try to really describe it as best as possible, all the detail. And I've noticed this step makes a huge difference in actually what you get later. All right, that's looking pretty good. And then for keywords, I would put upsell copywriting. And we'll use that for now. I'll use an actual SEO research tool to find some good keywords, but I'll click continue. And then for the title, you can generate ideas and just let Jarvis do it for you. Now, remember with the unlimited version, you have no word count limit. You can actually generate thousands and thousands of words a day if you want to do that. So that's why I don't mind using the title generator, the outline generator and whatnot. But let's do something like the ultimate guide to upsell copywriting. So we'll just use that for now. Can always change it. And then I love the intro paragraph generator. It'll give you three in this uh, workflow. All right, perfect. So I'll use this last one. And remember with something like this, it comes out really good, but you always have to edit it and make it a little bit better. So I'll click use this one. We can open the editor. Now let me explain to you how this works. I also recommend checking out the conversion AI trainings. I'm still going through some of the videos and content they have, but the CMS here you can tell is very, very simple. Hopefully in the near future, they have a little toolbar at the top like WordPress or any kind of other CMS where you can choose like header tags and links and things like that. But for right now, it's actually pretty bare bones. And what you have to do for header tags, in particular H2, is you have to do two pound signs. So for example, I'll do summary for one. And then you wanna think about exactly what the content is gonna talk about. So I'll do what is upselling. Upselling copywriting strategies. And then here, I'll actually show you what we do. So now. You're gonna hit compose, but I usually just do long because I'm looking for a long form copy. So I'll click under that header and click compose and then watch this. It'll spit out a ton of really good copy. It's very accurate. Sometimes it pulls in data and examples on its own, which is amazing. And also how it works is you'll see that it kind of stopped mid sentence because it actually wants you to make some edits and write to train the AI and make sure it's on the right path. And then you can hit compose again. So let me do that right now. So you can see just like that, it pretty much gave us a hundred words for that header. And then I can do upselling copywriting strategies. Now I may want to actually add some more header tags under this, or I can actually just let Jarvis generate me some ideas. And ultimately that's what I really find conversion AI is all about. I'm not going to publish a lot of the copy and content it gives me, but if I can just put a thousand words onto a page in five, 10 minutes, I'm really happy because it just gives me a lot of inspiration and ideas and guidelines, and then I can make it even better. So let's do compose and see what Jarvis gives us. 
Sometimes, as you can see, also will do bullet points, which isn't bad. Nice. And what we can do here, once again, I'm just looking for ideas. So I can actually probably break these into different sections. So include upsell copy in the buying phase of decision making. So we'd probably say for a header three, I'm not sure if you can actually do three pound signs for the header threes. Once again, still going through all the trainings and whatnot to really understand how to make Jarvis's job easy. But I'll just do a header two and then when I actually publish it, change it into a header three. And I will do, so adjust the sales copy. For the buyer journey and what stage they're in so adjust the sales copy use strong calls to action Okay, so now that I mapped uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different header three tags, header two for now, and then I'll edit them to be header three on my blog. Let me copy and paste some of the copy up there. So adjust the copy, put this one under there. Okay, then we'll let Jarvis actually give us a little bit more copy. Sometimes what I like doing is just writing a sentence or two to guide Jarvis. You have to really think about it almost like you're holding its hand and you're making its job easier for itself. Okay, look how amazing that is. So all I wrote was a common mistake businesses make is that they only speak about the features of product and not the benefits. And then it instantly pulled in that customers are more likely to buy something if they know what it will do for them. And it's using the iPhone X with the dual 12 megapixel camera and wireless charging versus just tooting wireless charging. So it gave a nice example, I was able to actually pull that in. Some more copy here, upsold items should complement each other and make sense in relation to your original purchase slash offer. Fix up the grammar a little bit here. For example, if someone buys shoes, then you could offer them jeans and a t-shirt. So I like that just as it is. And then honestly, with this iPhone example, I'd probably change it up, elaborate a bit more on it, and probably put some pictures in there as well. But you can already see that we're close to 600 words. It's really only been a few minutes. So if you map out all the headers, you generate the content, you write some more to help Jarvis out, generate again. Once again, Conversion AI is an amazing new tool. Highly recommend you check it out. Just upgraded to the Pro Unlimited version. I'm loving the long form assistant. It's been helping me skip writer's block, write content and copy a lot quicker. But ultimately remember that you can't replace that human touch in copywriting. You will always have to go back, edit it, add instructions and data and stats and make it better. But I think that any copywriter and marketer that just wants to save a lot of time every day, get some inspiration and skip writer's block should be looking at it. I recommend just trying out the seven day trial to get your money back if it isn't for you. And then eventually upgrading to the Pro Unlimited version which once again, they only allow a certain amount of people in and then they close it. So make sure that if you do get the opportunity, at least try it out. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on Conversion AI itself, any other tools you've tried. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well, and I'll see you in the next video.